Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example zero on the comparison test, aka uh, the direct comparison test. As this is example zero, we're going to state and prove it. And the comparison test, not to be confused with the limit comparison test, that'll have its own five videos starting with example zero as soon as I'm done with this series. No pun intended. All right, all right. Um, so first, let's state it. This is what it says. Given two series of positive terms, so this infinite series with a sub n and this infinite series with b sub n, such that uh, a sub n is less or equal to b sub n for all n in the positive integers, if this series converges, the bigger of the two converges, then the smaller of the two converges also. So for convergence, we require that the bigger of the two converge in order for the smaller of the two to converge. For divergence, it's the other way around, which is we require that the smaller of the two diverge in order for us to say that the bigger of the two diverges. And as you can imagine, the proof will have two directions, one for convergence and the other for divergence. Yeah, okay, but uh, let's uh, write down what I just said, which is that if uh, the series with b sub n converges, the infinite series with b sub n converges, then so does the infinite series with n a sub n and for divergence as i said it's the other way around that is if the infinite series with a sub n diverges then so does the infinite series with b sub n so this concludes the statement now let's get on with the proof so the proof goes like this let's consider partial sums and let's consider uh the nth partial sum for the uh series with a sub n and so let's say s sub n the nth partial sum and it'll look like this and then let's call uh, the nth partial sum for the series with b sub n uh, t sub n and so there that is yeah um first notice this which is that like uh the nth partial sum is less than the nth partial sum itself plus the next term and this here we can write more succinctly like this but wait, this in turn is the n plus first partial sum, right? And so in conclusion, looking at this statement, we can say that the nth partial sum is less than the n plus first partial sum. Remember, positive terms, right? Okay, okay. And then similarly for uh, t sub n, uh, we could write this. Yeah, in conclusion, we can say that the nth partial sum uh, here, t sub n, is less than the n plus first partial sum, t sub n plus 1. Yeah, okay, okay, this is all important. Um, all right, but uh, because we know that the a sub n's are less or equal to the b sub n's for all n in the positive integers, it must follow that uh, s sub n is less or equal to t sub n, right? That has to be true. And now we need space, so let's make space. All right, and where to? Well, as I said, two directions to the proof. Here is one direction. And one direction for convergence, let's assume that the uh, infinite series with the b sub n's converges. Then that means that this here, this infinite sum, which by the way is like t sub infinity, right? Uh, this here is equal to some finite number t, right? Uh, but then that in turn means that the infinite series with a sub n is less or equal to t by this statement, right? Uh, t sub infinity has to be a uh, bigger or equal to uh, s sub infinity, right? And that's what this statement is saying, right? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so what that tells us is that uh, the partial sums for uh, the series with the a's, it's bounded, right? But wait, we also said that the partial sums by what we wrote here are increasing. So the partial sums uh, for the series with the a's is increasing and bounded, but then that means by the monotone convergence theorem that uh, the infinite series this since it's bounded and its partial sums are increasing the infinite series s infinity converges that's uh the monotone convergence theorem right okay 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 so uh the convergence proof is done here and now for the other direction we again need space so let's make space so the other direction and for the other direction this time we uh want to show divergence right so let's assume that this series and sorry there's a typo here 
because uh, yeah, this is just a sequence with Ace of N. So let's assume I meant that the infinite series with Ace of Ns is divergent. So just like yeah, make a note of that here. That's what I meant to say. What I just said. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, then that means that S of N goes to infinity as N goes to infinity, right? Okay, okay. Uh, but then, but then because we said that S of N is less or equal to T sub N. It must follow that T sub n goes to infinity as n goes to infinity, meaning meaning that T sub infinity goes to infinity. That is, uh, the infinite series with the B sub n's is divergent. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, this is it uh, for example zero of the comparison test and the proof and statement. And uh, as I said, uh, four practical examples to follow uh, this one, uh, this video. And so keep watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care.